Bowman here from BW1.com, and we're going to do a hands-on with the new TouchWiz UI update for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. We were in New York yesterday at the Samsung Experience Store during a media event where they updated our Galaxy Tab 10.1 to the new TouchWiz UI. And we're going to dig right into it here. Now, this is pretty much the first overlay on top of an Android Honeycomb tablet. As you can see, you have uh, the same five desktops. You do have the indicators at the top that you normally see in Galaxy S phones. And you have these live panels that sort of give you quick access to information. You can inter interact with them and stuff. And we'll dig into each one of these as we go along through, through the video here. Now, what's cool is that they've actually changed some things right here at the bottom. On this notification section, as you see, um, the notification email just popped up. And that's pretty standard. But they've changed sort of the look and some of the functionality. So you still have back home um, and uh, multitasking right there. And then you have this new screenshot button. You hit that, it takes a screenshot of whatever's on the screen and saves it as an image right into your gallery. And also here on the side, your notifications area, now you still have the same notifications controls, but now they've added new controls for your Wi-Fi, notifications, GPS, sound, auto rotation, Bluetooth, and flight mode. Similar to what you would see on a Galaxy S phone when you would swipe down the notification bar at the top and you get the power controls, they put it right here, which is really easy to get to, which is really cool. Alright, another thing you've added here. It's sort of this mini dock here. Now this mini dock is, is a bunch of quick applications that will actually run on top of other applications. And you'll see how that works as we go open up different apps and stuff like that. Really cool concept Samsung has going here, but I have to show, show you how it works in action. All right. And um, you do have these live widgets here, and they all give you different information. You have your clock here. Tap on it. Gives you quick access to your alarms. And you can see sort of the redesign of sort of the OS. They put sort of a white, white and sort of silver background on it to make it stand out a little bit better in the different fonts and stuff. And you do have your weather. You know, every tablet's got to have a great weather application. And you can put different cities in there if you want to as well. Tapping on any of these uh, weather, weather items over here on the side will open up the browser to give you more information. Head on back here. You do have the, the photo, photo widget here. On this side, you do have the social hub widget, which I'll dig into the social hub in just a minute. You have your calendar, and this actually pulls all the calendars from all of your accounts, so your email, your Facebook, which is pulling a lot of this stuff from, from, from Facebook. You can pull all that, and it'll go right into here. And then you have quick access to Buddies and Yahoo Finance. Nothing here on this side, and nothing on this top, desktop either. But here, you do have an AP Mobile widget, you have bookmarks, and then you have Samsung Email. Put your email in here, it's just using the Samsung email account, so it'll just kind of, uh, you're using their email client, so your email will show up in here to quickly access it. And you can resize those widgets too, so, tapping and holding on to it. You can move it around, but you can also just pull up if you, oh, let's pull that back down. You can pull it up there like that, you can resize it to any way you want to. So if you want that, there you go. So that's pretty much the live tiles for it. And there's more additional widgets as well. It works in conjunction with the standard Android Honeycomb widgets too. And we go to our, our app section here and they've added some pretty cool things to it. One of the big things is that they've added a file manager. Really key, really key feature to manage your files. So they added a file manager so you can go in here and dig around and, and manage your files. Really simple there. I really, I really actually, really am happy they've included this inside of here. And this is a, this is, this is very useful, especially when you want to manage your files and you want to move things around. Let's say you want to copy from one thing to another. Let's hit the checkbox and let's say you want to copy it. And we want to go up one and we want to copy that to downloads. And we just go paste. And there you go. It's copied right in within there. Really cool, really, really cool and really easy to use. All right, go back to applications. They've added a few other big things here. And what's really cool is they've added the hubs. They've added, um, the, let's see, the media hub here, one of the bigger ones they've chosen. It's sort of almost like a DVR replacement. It has movies and pretty much um, next, day movie, uh, next day TV shows. So if you miss a TV show, you can pretty much pull it right from here. And um, let's see, let's see, look at a TV show like, let's see, White Collar. Tap on the white collar, you can go on the view. And you can tap on one of the episodes to download, you can own it for $1.99. And it connects with your Samsung account, which is a pretty big thing. Now, with your Samsung account, you can pretty much buy all of your media within here. 
and you can play it up on up to other five Samsung devices that have Media Hub enabled. So you can use it here on a tablet, and if you have a Galaxy S phone that has Media Hub, you can watch it on there as well too. And if you have a TV that has Media Hub, that's a Samsung um, Media Hub de enabled device, you can watch it on there as well. It's really, really cool, and it allows you just to purchase them once and use it, as, use it on pretty much other platforms that you would want to use it on. And you have different um, sections here, yeah, price drop, different hours, top TV shows. Do have a movie section here. You can go to certain movies. They have cowboys and aliens, sort of the uh, categories, romantic comedy, horror, sci-fi, and so on. <laughs> so that is the Media Hub here. It's a really cool little application. I actually kind of like it. All right. That's Media Hub. We'll open up another one. We'll open up the Music Hub. They've actually got working a little bit better now. It pretty much works like your standard music store. You have um, prices from 99 cents and above. You have top album listings right here. At the top you can access and it kind of gives you songs that are ready to download and, write, and add right to your, uh, right to your device. All right, they've included a new music player. Now this music player doesn't connect with um, Music Beta by Google, but it will play the music on your on your particular uh, tablet here. I'll play some music here. Let me tap on it now. Let's see how the player works. Similar to all the other music players, not not nothing too special there. You can have album view, you can have a sort by artist, song, and so on. All right. Take a look at us what we have here. Oh, the photo editor is also pretty cool. They've added a photo editor, so if you wanna let's say if you want to edit this particular picture that I found, you can you can crop it if you want to. I'll click done, we can paint onto it, we can change the brightness, change the hue and things like that. So really, really cool stuff they'd add like a Pretty, pretty decently powerful photo editor within it, right within the tablet itself. All right, guys. So another thing I wanted to show you here, you see I opened up all those applications. I want to show you the task manager itself too. Pulling that down, they have a built-in task manager. It works in conjunction with this too, so you can use this as well. But this is a little more useful so that you can kind of um, see what active applications are available. You can see the RAM manager, how much RAM you're using. You can clear your memory right from there as well too. So. You want to exit out of my files, you want to exit out of email, you can do it just like that in the media hub, or the music player, or you can hit end all. So it's really cool to manage your, your stuff like that. Open up the browser. Browser to Samsung 4, just scanned over just a little bit there. And we're actually gonna we're actually gonna go to um, a particular website to show you the keyboard here. Now this is a swipe keyboard. You do have the standard Samsung keyboard, but you have the swipe keyboard which you can actually see how I had it big there, and you can also shrink it down here as well too to make it easier to swipe around. I'm never really good at this thing anyway, but I can spell at least the I think. Yeah, I can spell the on there. And we can go to um, let's see the but let's say we want to go to find more find mortgage rates. Mortgage calculator. All right, let's find that there. Let's see TD Bank mortgage loans. We'll click on that. And now the reason I'm doing that here. Let's say I've got all my rates and information here, but I I, I don't have a calculator with me, like a physical one. But I need to, you know, do some quick math. That's where you bring up the little application doc here. And instead of opening up the calendar, which would well, you can open up the calendar, which will you can figure out your close date. And instead want to open up the calculator which you have here and so you can kind of do your math alongside what you're doing right here on this side so you can interact with this here so we'll go ahead and head back and but you can still do your math here if you need to whatever rates you want to calculate and, and so on and they work in conjunction and it works as a widget so you can move it pretty much all around anywhere you want it to go so that's pretty cool and you do have the task manager widget to bring that up close the application out just like that and I'll show you the settings in just a second here open up the settings as you can see the settings are pretty much as similar as before it just has got a nice little white skin on it there to white and silver skin to make it sort of stand out a little bit better you have wireless networking you do have Kia's via Wi-Fi as well too to connect the Wi-Fi storage sound screen you have a power saving mode which is pretty cool so you can 
check that box and you can have it and when it's below 50 percent power it'll start shutting off certain uh, features on the device and changing the brightness and things like that you have location and security pretty cool stuff and you have this new thing called find my mobile now if you activate find my mobile what this will do is like just in case you lose your talent you can actually go onto a, a samsung website where you can see via gps where your device exactly is and it'll start ringing and stuff when you activate it pretty cool you do have motion settings and, and tilt and panning. I'll show you how that works too. But your your settings page is pretty much standard with a few extra things added on with it. All right. So what they mean by panning zooming is is that okay? You can see here. Let's say let's go right here, and I touch two parts of it here at the same time. So it's, if you can see that, I'm able to just by motion move to the different desk to the different desktops like that, which is pretty cool. All right, and the same thing is if you open up the browser, it has a similar feature as well too. Let's say, uh, let's open up this here, Galaxy Tab Wallpapers, because that's what I was searching for earlier. Open that up there. And that's kind of the same thing you can do here. You can hold two points of it, it zooms in, zooms out. Hopefully you guys can see that there. There you go. That's really smooth actually too. All right, we'll head on back home here, and I'll show you the one other feature, which is the social hub. We'll actually open up the full social hub application. This is pretty much a aggregator for all your social feeds. So you have the all feeds option, and you can view by Facebook, you can view by Twitter, or LinkedIn. It's so all added right there. You can interact with it, so you can um, reply, retweet. If you open up pictures or any links like that, it's going to open up to the browser. It doesn't open up with an application. A little, a little disappointing that it kind of moves, kind of shakes up the experience a little bit. And then you also have the your Facebook, which you can thumbs up and you can reply to different feeds and stuff, and different statuses and stuff like that. You also have your messaging available as well, too. It's right here, all your Facebook messages. And your Twitter messages are right there, too. As you can see there. So that's the social hub. And that's pretty much it for the Galaxy S, uh, sorry, not Galaxy S, but Samsung Galaxy Tab TouchWiz UI update. I'm so used to talking about Galaxy S and TouchWiz at the same time there. But that's pretty much everything with any the update. There is a little bit of lag from time to time when swiping between uh, tablets. It does work in portrait mode here, as you can see there. But there's a little bit of lag, but I've, I've seen that on every Android tablet when turning it to, to in this direction, so... And it picks itself up over over a couple of seconds or so. I'll take it back here. But that is pretty much the, like I said, I did a Galaxy uh, TouchWiz Galaxy Tab up update there. It's pretty cool. I do like it. Samsung's done a pretty good job. Probably the best iteration of TouchWiz that they've um, that they've done so far. And it's it's nice that it makes itself different from other Android Honeycomb tablets out there since they all pretty much run and look exactly the same. Some people do like TouchWiz, but it is nice to have a different look just to make like it's just to make it stand out a little bit better. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also check out our main website at BW1.com. A link attached with this video to the article and all of our social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.